is Thrill Lethar. I and my brave companions are on the road in Whiterun, headed for a rather sinister destination. The bandit stronghold of White River Watch, to be exact, home of one Hajvar Ironhand, supposedly the top leader of all the clans, the bandit clans here in this hold. Now to, to tell you the truth, I've never really heard of uh, of bandits having uh, tiered uh, leaderships or such. But well, uh, this is Skyrim and... Oh, what the? Who are you? What's that? Checking us in broad daylight. What is this? Bandit. I've got your back. Bandit Explorer? Who are you? And what? Bandit Butcher. Who are you? Who sent you? You. Get up. Being dead. Being dead is no excuse. Um, the, uh, uh, the animation, the animation. Rise, you, you witch. Rise! Damn it. Damn it. Bandit butchers. Still here. These are the same bastards who attacked my caravan. Cities are bustling with so much light. I feel like are they involved there. with Iron Hand? But how could that be? We were attacked way off in Darkwater Crossing and. Is it true then? That Roma. Oh, shh. Get away, you. Pest. I don't have time for you. That rumor Proventus was telling me. Supposedly there are uh, whispers that uh, the bandits of Skyrim are being organized. About them wanting to become a hold, uh, a kingdom of their own. How could a bunch of layabouts become a kingdom is beyond me, but well. Anyway, to focus on the matter at hand. Okay, my wolves go. Well, it's lunch time, and these bandits come are the main course. <laughs> Die, you vile. Eat. Bandit Knight of the Burning Rose. These, these criminals are from other holds. Why are they here? This is really a bit disturbing. Well, it's not unheard of that bandits will come from other gangs and uh, hmm. Rodolf, your little studs try my patience. I know my uncle has issues, but he is our watchman, and you will respect him. No more sneaking in and out, no more games with his ledger, or nails on his chair. One more joke and you'll see how funny a day in a cage can be. Hajra. Huh. Well, whatever. Seems that you know who's in control here. Well, anyway, before we go rushing in, let's explore this a bit. Yeah, there. Glad to see you're not biting into my butt for a change. Hmm. Is 
that. Ooh. Chester. Ah, please do not give me a, any trouble. Yes, yes. Oh, what was that? Oh, well. What's cooking? Nothing. Oh, well. Uh. <coughs> uh. Wet snowberry. I always wondered what those were for. Huh. Anyway, Lydia, Jeremia, you prepared? Guess I'm done tarrying here. Came here for a reason, and let's do it. After this, well, we'll see. Hmm. Oh, like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, enough tarrying. Let's go. Yes, yes, it's me. Of course, it's me, Rudolf. That's my name. Boss was looking for you. Said he'd be up at the summit. All right, all right. I'll head for the summit. You just stay here, old man. Right. I've got your back. Oh, this, this garbage. Oh, garlic. Always good. Oh, garlic. Aha. Dear pelt, you never know what you'll find in these sacks, so you should check everyone. Oh, yes, food. Ah, good for cooking. Ah. Yeah. What can I do? This cave looks like it's chock full of goodies. Uh, okay, here's the watchman. A blind old man. Hmm. All right, leave him be. Come on. Oh, leaks. Oh. Oh, what's that? Get ready. It might be a bit of trouble. Don't exactly know how many of them there are here. For all we know, the cave might be crawling with bandits. Doesn't sound like it though. But the good thing is we we pretty much guarantee that there won't be any reinforcements coming in from surrounding bandit holds since we already took care of all of them. Mr. Iron Hand and his mates here are all alone. Just them and us. Oh, more garlic. I love garlic. <coughs> To be prudent. Oh, I see him. I think I can get him from here. The double handed bolt. Should be enough. Alright. Gotcha. Another one. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, a lightning bolt seems actually pretty awesome. If only it wasn't so taxing. Lydia, Yarmir, take over. Lydia's already engaged. 
You gotta know, make Mr. Crossbo count, okay? Um, hmm, if I use highborn, I can only use it once, so I better. Whoa. Oh. Again, not a bandit. Let me give you a hand. Sorry for robbing your kill, Lydia. Doesn't happen often, though. <laughs> well. Ah. That went pretty well. Hmm. Okay, let's push on. Oop. This place is stuffed with stuff. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, wait a moment. Here's some activity on the other side of this corner. Them. Go, my wolves! Sick him! Sick him! Take him out, boys and girl. Take him out. I'll get ready my lightning bolts. Attack! Ah, uh, what's going on? Can't see. Ah, uh, oh, there, there's one. Gotcha! <laughs> like that? Ah! Die! Ah! I like lightning bolts! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, this. Sorry, boy. No submissions. No disqualifications. Should have known that when you signed up for bandit school. <laughs> well, that's about it, too. Well. Very good. Very, very good. I think that's... That's the whole cave. Seems that Mr. Iron Hand is right up there somewhere on the summit. His own private little spot, eh? Here we are killing every one of his underlings and he's just there biding his time. Well, he's going to pay for that. Ah, <sighs> come on. It's been a long time coming, Mr. Iron Hand. Hope you make this a fight to remember. Alright. Let's go. My lightning bolts. I see him. Yes, it must be him. Hey, Mr. Ironhand. Like that? <laughs> gotcha! What a mist. Oh, what the. Yeah. Damn it. Got him here. Oh well. Well, you did make Mr. Crossbow count at least. Uh, well, and that ends the iron hand. Oh, good shot. Right in the mouth, eh? Yay. <sighs> and I guess that means it's over. 
the best part about caves is they provide all the tools for survival. I once survived a month-long battle by eating mushrooms and drinking I feel water. like a great weight has been lifted. I'm right behind you. But do I yeah. feel any more... any less empty than I did before? I don't. Do I feel that Laryl is proud of me for what I've done here? I don't. Laryl wouldn't have wanted this. She told me to run. To run and live when... when she was holding off the rest of the bandits back then. Run and live, she told me. She wouldn't want me to be doing this, living bitterly, murdering in her name. She'd want me to live and to make something of myself, something that she could truly be proud of. Well then, I guess from here on, we can make that happen. Not just for myself, not for Leo. We heading out? Uh, I've got all your equipment cleaned and ready. For the future. Yormir, Lydia? This part of our work is over. But our lives have just begun. I promise you. It's time we moved on.